framework cedar and, and we're doing it a little bit different today. Yesterday we ran into, um, I think some of the issues that we ran into were probably due to the heat. Um, we went out, it was hot. So it's a little bit earlier. It's got a little bit later than we wanted to, but it's nine o'clock right now. So we're gonna go out, it's cooler in the morning. We're gonna try to get some better focus out of her. Um, but I also wanted to show, cause I've gotten a lot of questions from people of, what are you doing with her when you're not doing these training sessions? Like what does the rest of your day look like? And so Ben and I have been working on computers all morning here. Um, this is what she's been doing. I took her out this morning and aired her out, let her go to the bathroom. I walked her down to the shop and back. It was, it's, a, it's not very far, it's 150, 200 yards. And I let her do her business. Um, that's, the, that's a routine we've kind of done the last couple mornings. And so, and she is very habitual. She goes to the same spot and poops. She goes to the same spot and pees. So, um, sometimes she's doing it on lead and sometimes off lead. This morning happened to be off lead. Uh, I let her kind of get, get out and then I would get her out there a little ways, 15, 20 yards. And then I'd call her back to me. She'd come running. Now she's all by herself. I don't bring the other dogs with, I let the other dogs out at different times. So she, if the other dogs were out, she would not be able to focus. Um, but if you're watching some of our Instagram stuff, which is where we're posting these, that's eventually going to go to YouTube, <clears throat> but we're struggling with the, with the upload. So you saw me there. She, she, put her foot out, she started to stretch out. I just walked up and I just tapped her foot and she put it right back. So it's a real, uh, it wasn't an audible correction, it was a physical correction. I walked over, I said, don't do, put your foot there, I'm going to, that's my spot. And she said, oop, and she pulled it off. So um, that's one way of making a correction to her. But when, I, when we took her out, some of the stuff I'm filming on, on our story on Instagram, and that is gonna, and I'm, I'm thinking about right now, how do, I, how do I create something that can show an answer to the question of what are you doing the rest of the day? Um, and make it not super, super boring, although maybe it, maybe it should be because that is life. But she's on place when we came back in this morning, she went on place, she's been on place all morning. She's been a little bit antsy at times. She's been a little excited. Steph took all of our old dogs and you can look at, there's one there. There's one over there and there's one here. So this is our regular life. These dogs, that's what they do during the day. Um, now these are our older ones. Bella's in the other room and she's in the kennel. So she, I, uh, we just, each dog has a different, thing that they're able to do. I don't trust Bella when I go outside um, 100% on leaving her like this all day long. And, and she's pretty good. Like I, I can leave her for a while, but she's in her kennel right now because these three are out and these three are out all day. She is monitored. So when she's, we're now we're gonna go outside and work with her. So I went and I got the leash and she got pretty excited. And I said, Ben, why don't you just film this? Because she got real antsy, she sat up, she was a little bit whiny. And in a short period of time, she settled in. So I do think it's valuable to not just do things instantly. I think, it's, I think if all we ever do is, okay, she's on place, that's good, now we go, we're gonna go work with her, we go grab the leash, we come and we take her off right away, and she gets all excited. But if we never make her settle back down, Next time I go and grab a leash, I might not be taking her out, but I'm gonna take a different dog out and she's gonna to get too boiled over and get excited because she goes, I'm next, it's my turn, I know what happens. So by pausing, by, force, by doing this little talk, she's been forced to change her attitude and settle in a bit. Now you hear her squeaking a little bit. And she's frustrated and she'd much rather go outside and do something else. So this can be training. So this is the stuff that we do the rest of the day. We're still training. Now this is gonna be tempting to her. Ben getting down like that, she's gonna go, I, I really wanna come over by him right now. So th what I don't recommend is teasing the dog. I don't recommend making it into a game. Now Ben's not teasing her, Ben's trying to document it and it's creating an issue. So work through it. So don't reward undesirable behavior. Ah, 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 ah. And right now you can just see, she's really on the verge of testing me. So I don't want to reward this excitable behavior. 
So our options are you guys watch it for, it might be five minutes. I might just sit here for a while. If it, if it wasn't going outside to film this session with Ben and she acted like that, I'd sit down and start doing more emails. I'd start answering more questions on Facebook. And I'd wait until she settled down and when she settled down, then I'd grab the lead and come over and say, okay, now let's go outside and work. So that's the stuff that happens constantly. And I know some people are going, well, I can't do that. I don't, I don't work from home. Well, then put the dog in the kennel. Look at Bella right now. Bella's in the kennel. There's nothing wrong with that. So that's what I would do if I were here. If I, if I, if I, worked, if I worked from the shop all day long and I couldn't bring the dogs with, the dogs would go in the kennel. And there's nothing wrong with that because you know what they would do? They'd sleep the whole time. As long as they're old enough to not have accidents, they just sleep. And then I'd practice this when I got home. So if you can't make time to build training into all the other stuff you're doing, you probably shouldn't have a dog. When you bring a dog in, because I do hear people tell me, oh, I don't have time to do all that. Well, then you don't have a time for a dog. You shouldn't have kids if you don't have time to raise them. You shouldn't have dogs if you don't have time to raise them. You shouldn't have to set your life aside and just train a dog or raise kids or raise dogs, I prefer to call it raising them. Instead, you take your life and then you take the dog or the kids and you just build it into your life. And then all of a sudden training the dog, raising the dog doesn't take any more time than it, than it would have because you're starting to incorporate it into all this regular stuff you're doing. Trust me, I worked a construction job and I raised the best dog I've ever trained. And it was because I was working out of town and I literally spent a lot of time with that dog because I was working out of town. But he got to heal better than I've ever trained a dog before. And the reason was is because we parked in a high rise parking ramp and we had to walk flights and flights of stairs to get to our job. And I would use those stairs as a training tool to teach the dog, don't take a step till I take a step, don't take a step. So I trained a dog to heal really well in, the, in a in downtown concrete jungle of a city. You, you can use all the reasons in the world that you can't do it. You can make up all the reasons and all the excuses. Those are excuses. Excuses don't, don't count. So you built, you got to figure, you, sometimes you have to be creative. You don't necessarily do it the exact same way I do it because everyone's story is a little bit different. Everyone's dog's a little bit different. Good. Heal. Now this is where I take her off under control. Sit. Sit. Good. I don't just let her free run. I don't call her off. So I want to show that we take her off. That was the point of this. Take her off out of control. And now we're going to go outside. So Ben will cut it. We'll go outside. We'll do our little session. Okay. Back outside. We just went through a big thing inside explaining, um, hopefully answering some of the questions of what are you doing with the dog outside of these sessions? Now we're into a session. So we brought the dog out and this is going to be a short one. It, it's warmer than I thought it would be. Sit down. She's got plenty of energy. Um, you know, haven't, hasn't really done anything today. Sit. Good. So looking back on what we did yesterday and what we struggled with, couldn't get her to remote sit the day before we could. So I've thought about it and I'm going to, that's going to be my goal. We're going to work on some heel work. We're going to work on putting her on remote sit. We're going to get the idea of creating a little bit of separation and just simply build off of what we did yesterday. Cedar heel. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to establish a little bit more control, probably. So you saw that, that was a good correction. Her nose went down instantly and I sh corrected it, sit, good. I corrected it real sharp and she was responsive to it. And her nose didn't, we just took three steps. Her nose did not go down. She kept it up and she looked at me probably three times. Heel. Look at the nice eyes and the nice head up and the nice tempo and pace she's got right now. Now she's building up the <laughs> sit. I laugh about it because I go, why is she building up and getting excited? Because I'm jacking my jaws. I got I'm gonna, I'm gonna be quiet and watch the difference. So she was really nice. She was really calm. I loved her temp pace and her temperament and we were moving along nicely. And then all of a sudden I start telling you that because that's the hard part about doing this camera. I got to explain to you what's going through my head to hopefully make it make sense. I start talking and all of a sudden she starts getting up on the back heels and getting excited, which is a habit I've seen her do. So I'm going to, this time I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to see if there's a difference. 
cedar heel. See the difference? Cedar heel. Good. Good. Sit. Good. Sit. 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 Sit down. Good. Sit. Good. Sit. Come here. Come on. Come on. Sit. Good. Now, I do see her almost look at it like it's a challenge, like I'm challenging her. When I stop and I give her this, normally I look at it and I go, Get, make it clear, sit. Make it really clear what you want. This is what a cop would tell you to do if he wanted you to stop in a traffic situation. Make it really clear. I think she looks at that as challenge. I think she's looking at it as, let's play. Let me show you that you're not going to be able, and I don't think it's doing it out of spite. I think she's doing it out of excitement of, let's get a game out of it. Now I'm not paying, ah, 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 sit. I'm going to try to do it with much less. So you see how she's, she's really ramped up. She's really anxious. Come on. Sit. Sit good. Sit. Good. I'm not squaring up to face her at all. Very good. Good. There's a real nice little licking of her lips. Her ears are back nicely. She's going, man, that wasn't so bad. The difference is I didn't face her. Watch, watch my body language. I don't want to challenge her. I don't want her to feel challenged. Sit. I want to shape a behavior. Sit. So I'm not squaring up to her at all. In fact, I'm kind of giving her a look of being able to glance off of me. Good. Good. Sit. Good. Very good. Good. I'm not looking at her. I'm really not focusing on her that much, but I've definitely got an eye on her. Good. And if she were to do exactly what she was doing before, where she got kind of jumpy and got kind of sporty and wanted to like react, heal. she'd get a little bit reactive in an energetic way, I would correct it, but there was no need. Now I've done it twice. Sit, sit, good, good. She doesn't feel as challenged by me right now. She's got a little bit of a personality of a little bit combative. She'll, she's, she steps up to challenge if you challenge her. She's, she, you know, before I got her, 
she challenged my parents regularly. And that was, you know, she'd get down, kind of lay down and bark at them. Good. Good. Boy, first time we got around her. Good girl. Good girl. It's the most praise you sit down. Don't you over boil over like that on me. First time I've been able to get around her. The difference is how I'm approaching it with her. I'm, I know how to do this. I've done it with a thousand dogs. I walk out in front of them, I give them the traffic cop stop, I back up, I'm very formal about it, I look to their eyes, I burn a hole through them, I'm showing them how this is, you know, be clear, sit down. That's with a dog that has a lot of respect for me. She doesn't have as much respect for me as most dogs do by the time they're five months old. It's because we just met. And so now I'm looking at it and I'm going, if I decide to do it this, the way I always do it, which is that's the way I always do it, that's the way if you watch our, we've got a foundation video, building a solid foundation. It's three and a half hours. It talks about heel sit, stay, and come when I call you. In that video, watch when I talk about remote sit. sit. I do it the same way. Swing out in front of them, make it clear, give them good, bold body language. And, it, and that's how, it, and it works. And every time I've tried it with her, it didn't work. And so I can keep banging my head against the wall and trying to make her fit into how I want to do it, because that's the way I always do it. Or I can go, you know what? That's not working. Let's try something else. Ah, ah, ah. And I can try something else. Good. And she clearly does not feel quite as challenged right now. But what is she doing? She's doing what I'm asking her. Here, heel. She's, I'm getting out of her what I want. Sit. Now it's not exactly how I want to get it because I do want the dog to look me in the eyes and I want the dog to respect the idea of I'm going like this and I'm backing up. Because down the road, I'm gonna take a dog and I'm gonna give him a back cast. I'm gonna say, go back. Or I'm gonna say, get out. And I need the dog to look at me, respect me when I do this because I'm now gonna give you a command. Now, will I do that with this dog? I would do that with one of my hunting dogs because I need that skill. Will I do it with her? Maybe, maybe not. But either way, I want the dog to be able to, I wanna be able to stop the dog and say, stop. There's a car coming, stop. And they sit, whether they're sitting next to me or they're sitting out there. But if she gets this, she gets this behavior of, I say, stop, Cedar. There's a car coming, sit down. And she gets this idea of, let's play, roof. I wanna get excited and run around. She's gonna get hit by a car. So I need the behavior to match. I just am not able to get it the way I normally would do it. So I've made a little bit of an adjust heel. I've made a little bit of an adjustment. Sit. And what I'm doing is, I'm at least getting the behavior right now. I'm getting the behavior and she's starting to shape and understand, because I'm gonna let her know that she's good. Good. Very good. And now she swings her head around and looks at me. Good. And now I come back and I tell her, you're a good dog. Heel. And then I change the, I move. Because I don't want it to, I don't want it to get too, too long and too boring sit. And I don't want her to lose focus of what we just did. All the while this session, we're extending the amount of time it, this is only like the fourth day if on day one I don't know that I could get her to sit for more than five to ten seconds without her wanting to do something different and in four days she's starting to realize I add a little bit of time and I require you to remain focused that amount of time I don't allow you to just be a ditz and flake off and then because you do that I reward you with okay let's go do what you want We've slowly said, no, you can't do that. You got to sit still. No, you can't do that. You got to sit still. No, you can't do that. And then it went from 10 seconds, five seconds to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, to now we're getting, you know, we're getting up. I can't do it for five minutes. I'd like to, but I can't, I can't. But I moved away from her. Good. And I'm actually starting to look at her. 
Because before, the first few times, I wouldn't even look at her. I, I purposely didn't make eye contact to her. Because when I made eye contact to her, she got challenged. And then she decided to say, I'm gonna challenge you back. And then all of a sudden it just melted down. So I haven't looked at her much, but now I've, I've made a little bit of eye contact. I just looked at her and she looked at me and I kind of gave her a, an, a, a look of, good job, an approval. I think she's, I do think she enjoys my approval because I do think she likes it when I come in and I do this. Good. I'm not gonna do it so much that she loses her focus. Come on. Good. That's just puppy in her. No, no. That's, pu that's puppy in her, not being able to focus through because Ben was too tempting. I wanted to reach out to Ben. Before the gravel was too tempting, but we've corrected that. We've made enough nice firm corrections that she's able to keep her head up the majority of the time. She's at my pace. So if she gets into a nice pace, then speed up and wait till she speeds up and realizes this gets me excited, change directions and she comes. If you notice in the very beginning, every time she went out in front of me, I turned and went the other way. Every time she gets out in front of me, I turn and go the other way. And if she doesn't come with me responsibly, she, gets, she feels the correction. Just like that, pay attention. She's gonna start to pay attention. Her tail's wagging, she's in a good mood. She's in a good state right now to learn something. Good, nice turn. Pick my pace up. She wants, she knows I go slow, so she's adjusting to it. So now I'll pick my pace up. And then we turn and she doesn't need a correction that time. So she, come on, come on, come on. She, she, if she lags behind, I'll speed her up. Come on, good, good. Boy, isn't this nice little, boy, it's a lot. It's really fun to take a dog for a walk when they do this. Compared to the lunging and the jumping and the nipping and the biting and all that crap that my dad's been dealing with. That's why he doesn't like taking her on a lead. Because it's no fun. Got my, my training sandals on today. Come on, come on. So I'm picking up the pace. She's doing a wonderful job of keeping up. So we went from a very, very slow session sit, to a pretty f quick session to now it's a stopped session. Like now we're stopped. Good. And I'm gonna make eye contact with her a little bit. I'm still not facing her. I'm not giving her the body language of challenge. I'm, instead of me squaring up to her, I'm going, you know what? I'll give a little, you give a little. You, I won't put so much pressure on you. You don't be such a brat to me. Good. And she's really giving me a nice, doing a nice job of it. Now I switched, I turned and I showed her my shoulders. I squared up to her, but then I turned off again. So I'm, I'm literally talking a lot to her. Sit right now with my body language. And she's accepting the idea of, you know what? He kind of like, I, I might as well just sit here for a while. Because if I do, he'll come back. Now, that probably went a little long. I don't mind that behavior change. I do mind the idea of putzing with rocks. Come on. So that's my mistake for letting it go so long. Heel, heel. Sit. Good girl. Good. Good. Good girl. She just looked at me looked away. She looked at me. I didn't, I didn't turn away from her. She turned away from me. She is telling, she's giving me some body language right now. She's saying, okay, okay. I get it. I'll do it. I don't necessarily want to fight you. It is more enjoyable when we're not arguing. <laughs> she's starting to learn that. Good. That's it. I'm more than happy with what we just did. Sit. Good. She'll go back in the house. She'll either go, she'll, I'll probably put her in her kennel because now we're gonna work with Bella. But she's gonna go in her kennel and she's gonna think about what we just did. And I got a feeling that we've made a nice step and I've learned from her 
And now going forward, we'll start to work on and build up and get better at remote sit. And then we'll start building time into it. And then I can add more distance to it. And eventually I'll be able to look at her and have her not ch take it as a challenge. She'll look at me and go, I wonder if he's got something else he'd like to ask of me. Now she's getting polite. She's going from brat to polite. I like that. I prefer it. Getting a little long on the asking of her to sit still. She got distracted. She felt that. She felt the chain there and went, I guess I'll pay attention. She's splitting her attention right now. There's chickens making a bunch of noise and she's, she's hearing that. This is great. This is a great plot spot right now where there's enough outside distraction, but not to challenge her, not too much to put her over the edge. Cedar, 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 heel. I'm not going to give her a command until I know she's listening to me. And it's just got to be, again, it's body language. It could be the flick of an ear. It could be the move, twitch of her nose. It could be her looking at me. Sit. Sit. Good. Good. And that's done. That's it. We're done today. Nice session. She's going back up north with us for the weekend. We'll be replicating the exact same stuff. It's just we're going to be, in, we're going to be by a lake. It's going to be a lot more comfortable. But I'm not going to turn, because we're, because we're not here, because we're not training, I'm not going to change the expectations of her behavior. For now on, expectations are for her to be consistent, behavior-wise. And pretty quick, it'll become a habit, because it's going to be normal. Nice little progress with her today.